Hi, uh, this is exercise to explain serial dilutions. So I'm going to using a uh, graphing papers to do this demo. Uh, that's the graphing paper. So uh, I have a uh, uh, the red graphing paper uh, represent the things we want to make solutions, and the blue graphing paper to represent the water, and the white one will be used as a working template. <coughs> so the basic idea is. Uh, this one square meter, one square of uh, 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 things is just uh, one volume, one part of chemicals we want to make solutions. And, and likewise, one square of water is just one part of water, the volume. Uh, so in, in this case, two square of red means two parts of things, and two square of water means two, two parts, two volume part of water. And we are going to uh, uh, start with the uh, 10x stock fold, 10 fold concentrated stock. And in that one, uh, this 10 fold have a 50% red in it. And then we do a 10 fold dilution uh, sequentially. So from 10x, we are going to win, uh, make 1x, which is 5% concentrated. Uh, and then 0.1x, which is 0.5% red. So, okay. So first, uh, we're going to start with uh, making a, t uh, a 10x stock. So it's 10x stock uh, in uh, 20 parts. So that's 10. Okay, that's the volume of the 10x stock. In this 10x stock, it's 50% concentrated. 50% are red and 50% are blue. So 50% are going to red, 50% are the blue. So this is how we add it into it. Uh, well, once we add it, they will be mixed all together, of course. So the red and blue uh, in actual test tube, they will be mixing all together. Right, so. But for this demo, we are going to uh, pretend they can still be uh, separated, just to for uh, intuitive understanding. Okay, so now we are going to uh, make the a one x uh, solution, do a ten fold dilution from ten x to one x. Now, how do we uh, do a ten x? So we start from a 10x solution. We want to change it to 1x. And the volume, again, is in this part, we want to do a 20 parts, 20 parts. So the question is, how much do we need from the 10x? So we can solve, well, this conservation of mass. So we know 20 parts, which is 1x, should be equal to the same volume in the 10x part. And then we can solve how much volume, as which we can find this is two parts. Okay. So and among these two parts, we know that's 50% uh, concentrated. So among this one, so one part is red, and uh, one part is blue, that's water. So basically, we need to cut this part uh, take, we need to take two volume. We need to take two volume here. And in this two volume, half of them will be red, half of them be blue, be bl uh, blue, and then move it to the 1x solution. So for the 1x solution, let's again, we make a, a 20 part solution. And then we can, uh, Say cut the blue. I also cut one only of red. So, and then we move this part uh, to the. This is the one x. So we know this part is gone. So so of course this part is gone from the start. They're going to missing two parts. And what, uh, the two parts goes to the 1x. Now the remaining 
we are going to make uh, uh, 20 parts, so, so there are how much remaining? There are, eight, there are only 20 square, and now I'm filling 2 square, so there are 18 left. The, 18, the remaining 18 should be also filled by water, and that will be again filled by uh, blue. So we can fill this one with the blue. Now, <coughs> from the 1x, we are going to make uh, 0.1x. So, how are we going to do this? And again, we are going to make 20 parts of 0.1x. So, now we have uh, 1x solution. We want to change it to 0.1x solution. And that's again in 20 parts. And the question is how much do we need here? Right. How much volume do we need for the 1x? So the x will be basically 20 times 0.1 equal. Again, it's two parts. Right. Now for these two parts, the this 1x solution is 5% red. Right. So 2 times 5%, that means 0.1 part red. And I'm can and that from that 2 part 0.1, that means 1.9 part is blue. Right. So So this time I'm going to uh, okay. So I'm going to remove this and put all the they are all mixed now. So all mixed now. So this time I'm going to take uh, oh, let's uh, <coughs> again put the. Uh, the water back, put the water back. So it's maybe a more uh, intuitive to understand now. So, <coughs> so I'm going to take a slice. So, so in this case, I need 0.1 part of red. So 0.1. Uh, 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 so that's basically 10% of the square. That's just one slice. That's the top slice. I'm going to cut the top slice. That's top slice. All right. So move to the bottom one. So that's how much red. But once I take the red, remember everything is mixed. So that's a, a, a fun calculation. How, how much red I take I, by taking that 0.1 percent, uh, uh, 0.1 part of red, I have to take total of two parts from one x total of two parts. So so that means 1.9 part blue will be also be taken. So basically it's uh so I'm gonna take this blue and then I also need to take some extra. Okay, so that's 0.9% blue, and there should be remaining part of that should be also uh, the remaining particles there. So, so this would be how much is this? So this part is gone. I, I'm taking two parts here, right? Moving uh, again, two parts, and. Likewise, this, this the previous one is also two parts. So I'm moving two parts, but among the two parts, uh, uh, only one slice is red, 0.1 percent, and the remaining part again has to be filled again with water. So those again has to be filled with water. That will be how much water is that? Is again is 18 parts. Okay, uh, and I hope this helps. <coughs>